this is the annual conference of the Copenhagen Clean Tech Cluster. And uh, I think we've got a really exciting day ahead of us because we've got over 200 people coming to really look at how Denmark can be a force for change in the world. Hello everyone, my name is Joe Confino. I'm an executive editor of The Guardian. One thing people always seem to miss out when discuss discussing about climate change is that it's the biggest opportunity we've ever had. I think the reality is that for sustainability to be, to be sustainable in the long run, it has to be good business. We were trying to apply digital technologies and clean technologies within the context of existing business models. And frankly, they weren't working and they aren't working. So we need to think much more creatively about the way that we structure and articulate value propositions for clean tech firms to understand what is the societal benefit, what's the environmental benefit, and what's the benefit to you as an individual consumer. Cities are the source of innovation, and they're the source of innovation for a good reason. It's where people get together, it's where they share knowledge, it's where they share ideas. If China and India decide to build cities like Copenhagen on, on the Danish model, uh, then there is hope for the planet. You walk around Copenhagen, everybody cycles, everybody's on a bike. You ask people here, why do you all cycle? Well, because the infrastructure is really friendly to cyclists. Why have you got really friendly cycling infrastructure? Well, obviously, because everybody cycles. <laughs> I think we are at the absolute forefront, but I also think that the competition is, uh, is getting stronger and that we will have to do our utmost to stay in the forefront. We cannot expect these changes to come top down. Cities and companies and of course all, also local communities and individuals are the crucial players. It's always nice to be here to meet all the friends or contacts and also to meet uh, um, or to know new people in the industry. It's very nice to be here. It's, um, it's been uh, very uh, developing and very interesting to see how everyone is, uh, is coping and, and uh, being active on all the issues. We want to encourage action. There's been a lot of talk about action here. And we want to do that in order to accelerate the sustainability transition that we all are talking and hoping for to have. We need now to drive innovation, we need to drive action, we need to get people who can make a difference to actually make that difference. I and the Trade Council with me will continue to do our utmost to support you on the export markets. I wish you a successful annual meeting. Yes, we have had a great day, but we are not done yes, yet. I have one more thing. I have an important announcement. The CCC has got a new partner, uh, and it is a Nobel Sustainab Sustainability Trust. Thank you, Gustav, so far. Looking forward to the cooperation. Thank you, Anders. Thank you. What we're giving out today here is a recognition that we give away to companies that show that they are really on the right way for the, the transition into a sustainable society. Now, to this today's event, I am happy to um, leave the word and the stage to Søren, uh, our senior partner and director of NST. We have chosen to reward Greenwave Reality with the recognition Nobel Sustainability Supported Clean Tech Company. <laughs> The Cleantech Cluster has helped my company a lot, uh, so I like to thank the Copenhagen Cleantech Cluster for uh, the push and help and introductions they uh, gave my company when we just found it. I think it has been a great conference. We had the international perspective, which was really interesting, but we also had the Danish perspective. So we can learn from the outside, but we can also learn from the inside. And that is uh, what we saw clearly today. Thank you.